Yo, Mr. Black, where you been? I was visiting my family. I don't, I don't have to explain myself to you. How's the bake coming along? It's fine, it's fine. I got the bread baking at 350 degrees, just like you told me. Well, did you prove it to 99%? I, I, think, I, I think I did. You think you did? That's, that is great to hear. You know, we are in a business with no room for error. Don't forget where you came from. If it wasn't for me, you'd still be baking bread with chili powder. Okay, yo, look, look, it, it, it's proved all the way, okay? Listen here, yo. We are in a business where our customers expect quality. That's why they get bread from us. Because we have a certain level of quality. How much quality can you expect when you're baking bread, yo? Did you invite someone here? No! What did you take me for? phone in your drawer. You let your wife follow you here? Do you know how dangerous that is? This is why you're the least liked character. Excuse me? Who's helping you loiter your money? This is not the time for this, yo. There are headlights outside. Did someone follow you here? No! You have to hide. Now. I, I knew you being in this business would tear this family apart. Get over it! Hello? I understand. That was the man who owns Los Magdalenas and Anonymous. He's here. No, it's not ready yet. Go. I'll handle this. Where is it? It's not finished yet. Why not? Do you know who I am? Yeah. Say my Bill's bad. Welcome to Akron After Hours. Welcome to Akron after our wardrobe department is very bad. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Akron after hours. You know what murders TV? Puns. <laughs> and that's a great coincidence because this episode is full of murder, TV, and puns. And I don't know what you're thinking. Anthony, every episode of your guys' show is full of murder, TV, and puns. And to that I say, okay. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Seeing this? What's going on, Mikaela? 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 Kyle? 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 Mom? I don't know, Allie. Allie? 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 Son? Why are you calling me son? I don't. 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 Just turned into a pot roast, and I'm pretty sure I have maternal instincts now, Allie. Is dinner almost ready, Mom? 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 Yeah, I love your cooking, Brad. Brad? 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 Grandma? Grandma? What are you talking about? What are you guys doing here? What are you talking about, sir? 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 Sparky? What are you doing? You're an outside dog. Wait, what? 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 Well, 
Looks like we've become a cat family now. <laughs> fix this. How are we gonna fix this? We got five hours before the deadline. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be on a sketch comedy show. See? They weren't like anybody else. They would just go into random people's houses and start filming. Is the, is the shot working for you? No, no, a little more that way. You see, to me, being in a sketch comedy show was better than being president of a local auto dealership. And you better believe I jumped at the opportunity. Now who are we gonna have roll sound? Yeah, I'll do it. And me, this little kid. Can barely see over the end of the boom pole. Got to run sound for all these sketches. It was a glorious time. It was when I met the world. It was when I first met Ben Coy. Take this and buy yourself a piece of candy. Kyle produced the show, and Ben was her second in command. He knew all the ins and outs of sketch comedy. I'm glad to see you've taken an interest, but there's two things you've got to remember. One, don't break 180. And two, don't break continuity. When I got to actually making stuff, I was so excited. Then I had to deal with the technology. Hold on. We and Brad knew what he was doing, tech-wise. My sketch had been totally scrapped. It was too late to fix up the sketch, and now the season's ending. Everything's different now. There's no sketches being filmed, and I don't even get to roll sound anymore. I'm just living my life like, I don't know, somebody doesn't do sketch comedy. Good evening, Teresa Roberts here for LNN. We've got a lot of news happening in the world today, so let's get things started. First of all, we have some internal news. There are going to be a few changes here at the station because our old manager was fired this morning. <laughs> and some local news, there's a new babysitter on the block who has top reviews. So parents, this is great news for you. In fashion, I'm happy to say that sun hats have finally come back into style. Now let's throw it over to our weatherman, Randy Black. Hey, Randy, duck! Well, everyone, it's just raining cats and dogs out here tonight. However, by morning, we can expect a change in the weather. Thanks, Randy. Even if the weather does clear up, there have been reports of swarm of bees harassing people lately. So you guys may want to steer clear of the park for a few days. Now, in technology today, the latest Apple Watch has finally been released. Such innovation! What will they think of next? Well, now it's time to send it over to Terry Bellwether with an update on sports. The Super Bowl is off to a great start this year, and a lot of credit for that can be owed to the new quarterback that has been thrown into the mix. Back to you, Teresa. Now, turning to the arts, the eighth Harry Pop book has finally been released and is selling out fast. And speaking of selling out fast, this weekend's rock band concert is already sold out just after one day. Now before we end today's broadcast, I want to remind our viewers of Alan and sweepstakes. Enter for a chance to win a free trip. Oh wow, it looks like we're out of time ladies and gentlemen. I'm Teresa Roberts and I'll see you next time on the Literal News Network. Hey Al, this milk is spoiled. I dare you to drink the rest. Well, if I'm drinking it, then so are you. Fine, but at the same time. Ugh. Halt. State your name. Hey, I don't even know how I got here. 
You don't look like you're from around here. And the last time I checked, Romans didn't speak English. How could you suggest such a thing? And what's with the accent? Questioning a Roman's accent is punishable by... Let me see... All right! Death. Please know I have children. No, you don't. Yeah, I do, little Billy and Susie. Oh, you poor baby. On this way! By the powers above, strike these two down! But Susie doesn't even know how to read yet. If you're just gonna kill us, get on with it already. I'm trying to, but it's not working. Well, if it's not working, can you just let us go? I have a lot of cats to pet. Why is it not working? What's happening? It's... it's the milk! Oh wow, it worked. You knew the milk was spoiled, didn't you? Uh, I don't feel right inside. Oh, look, milk. No! Are you tired of giant stains that just won't come out? Yeah. Well, then do we have a product for you. Kelsey here from another bloody sitcom. Are you sick of blood stains and pesky body parts all over your home? Well, say no more. Blood Be Gone is the cleaner for you. Now look at this nice, clean white shirt. Uh-oh, we dumped blood on it. Now normal cleaners won't clean this up. Look at this shirt. The leading stain removal products can't even touch it. But when you use Blood Be Gone, now normal cleaners won't do that. <laughs> now don't you worry about all these dismembered body parts. With Blood Be Gone, your crime scene will be squeaky clean just like that. Wow, thanks Blood Be Gone. Call now and you can get two bottles of Blood Be Gone for just 193 teeth. Now you won't find another deal like that on a cleaning product. Or you can also send in four intact human molars. But wait, call in the next two minutes and you'll get six bottles of Blood Be Gone for only 14 teeth plus a hitchhiker's thumb. But wait, we'll also throw in this highly scientific organic broom that is just perfect for sweeping up and hiding bodies. That's right, call 555-555-KILL. Call in the next 30 seconds and you'll get all kinds of deals at a super great price that you can't find in stores. Fireball in space. No. Cats eating rice with chopsticks. No. Bananas. The silent killer. No. 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 Ah! What, what, what is this? Call it, see what happens. Hey, got a package here for you, buddy. <laughs> You're beautiful. So are you. You talk? Sure can. Awesome. I'm here to help you. So this next sketch, what I'm thinking is, uh, you know, we get some helicopter. No. Mikhail, your hair is so pretty. I know. Are you, you using new conditioner? Uh, Hi, guys. What? Oh, sorry. There's no room for you here. Yeah, we're sitting here with Mikhaila. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Mikhaila, look, we're in love. Just accept it, sweetheart. All right, let's go. Go where? No, you've taken my show, you've taken my friends, you've taken my boyfriend. That's it, let's go. Come on. You're gonna regret this. Good riddance. <laughs> Madam President, you're stronger than this. We've faced adversity before. Nothing like this. There's no way we'll recover in time for the election. And there it is, the scintillating sign of our young Miss Potus's desperation. 
Now's the time to run the floss through the teeth. President Johnson, as your vice president and prospective running mate, I'd like to offer my assistance to you. What? I'd take full responsibility for this, for the good of the party. Thank you, Roger. You know, every day before my daddy went to work, he'd say that... Fessa, there's more than enough left here, too. You have a collect call from... Vice President Hodges. I guess I'll accept the charges? If you'll excuse me for a moment, Brad. Now, what my dear old daddy used to say was, Son, you won't get anything in life if you don't... What is this? This isn't even your show. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment. Let's have a talk, Brad. Look, the network decided to mesh our shows together, put them into a blender, and come out with a great new product. But I had a spot on your show next season. It'll be rewritten. We've got people for that. For now, you'll be streetwise, Brad, solving crimes and making wisecracks. You know, this is really limiting for me as an actor. No, I... no, don't see it that way. This is a great opportunity to mix brands. Now let's get on with it, shall we? All right, from the top, everybody, let's go. General, this really isn't the place to be talking about this. Really, guys? A phone during the middle of a scene? Actually, Brad, I think it's your phone. Yeah, it is, sorry. Hello? Now, if we could return to the former conversation. You again? I'll be reprising my role on this show, Brad. But I'm already playing the vice president in this series. I know. The suspense, the mystery, all of the confusion. It's everything people love about television. No, it isn't. Except... What? It's missing one thing. Cliffhanger. What a big guy. How's it going, Gus? First time in a while. It's really going ah! okay. My phone keeps making this annoying ding. Dude, dude, open the app. Time travel. Wait a minute. We can travel back to any point in human history. We can go back to before human history. We can go back to the days of the caveman. Okay. It says there are rules, though. Okay, let's read them. One, you can't kill anyone in the past. Okay, not a murderer. You can't go farther back in time than before you were born. You know what, the 90s were still really cool. Rule three, you can never run into your past self. Wouldn't want to talk to me anyway. Well, if you could go back in time, like fix anything, what would it be? Well, uh, two days ago I asked Gina out and I kind of messed it up. Hey Gus, what's up? Not much, not much. I got a question I want to ask you. Sure. Uh, what are you doing Saturday next? Oh, well, on Saturday I have a funeral for my pet frog. Funerals! Funerals are cool! Uh, you got a date? It was invitation only. So I wanna, wanna fix that. Wait, two days ago? Yeah? Okay. I, I had a candy bar that day, so I guess that'd be cool. You know, it's really cool that we're able to disrupt the space-time continuum and your first thought is, Man, I really wanna reach out that candy bar. Uh, you ready? I'm ready, Freddy. Did it work? I don't know. Well, check the date on your phone. It's today. Like, today is in the day we traveled back from, or today is in the day we time traveled to? I don't know if it, we time traveled, it just says it's still today. Well, let's go check. Okay. Gee, man, I sure am nervous about asking Gina out. Dude, you have to stop that goofball from asking Gina out. Look, you'll, you'll be fine, okay? I'm gonna go eat my candy, I'm gonna go have a good time. You, you, you have fun. Thank you. Hey, Gina. Hey, Gus, what's up? Gina, hey. uh, I got a question for you. What are you doing on Saturday next? Well, hey, man, I got, I got a question to ask you about, uh, about microtransactions. I got a question to ask Gina. 
Man, I was asking Gina out. No, man, no, 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 not right now, not right now. Look. Hey, yo, Gina. Hi. Did you change your shirt? Washing machines. You changed your shirt? Washing machines. Anyway, I had a proposition for you. I'm just gonna cut the small talk. Look, I just thought maybe you'd want to reconsider, wait a little bit. You, me, your frog's funeral this Saturday. It's invitation only. Maybe you and I go get some candy or something. You, you know? already have candy. I do? Yeah, you oh, do. Right, I do, I do. Look, I'm gonna go grab that real quick and just don't talk to Gina, okay? Don't, don't. Max! Max, we have to go back! I'm gonna talk to Gina. What is happening? Gus. Yeah. So you better fix this. Alright guys, so before we start shooting sketches this episode, I have something really cool I found in the prop closet I wanted to show you. Ooh. What is it? Some kind of artifact? Hey, what's this button do? Ah! What just happened? I believe we just turned into generic brick toy people. What is wrong with my hair? Why am I old? We seem to basically be the same sketch characters that we were before. But well, we're so much cooler now. Check it out. Now I'm really the bad dude. This isn't cool, Chris. Do you really want to be stuck moving in stop motion forever? Maybe. Right, we need to find a way to reverse this. Well, maybe we could go- Great, here we go again, Mr. Know-it-all. Yeah. I just know more than you. I just want to start making this in our favor, first of all. How is that gonna help? Give me a hypothesis. You're the one I'm the one in charge here. How is the artifact gonna help? Guys. Wait, guys. Where'd the artifact go? And where's Chris? Oh, these guys just don't know how to have fun. I mean, look at this. Everything is so bright and colorful. I can hear fun upbeat music coming from nowhere. I'm even talking to myself and I don't feel awkward about it. This is the best! I say we burn the station to the ground until we find them! No! Fire's bad! Whoa! How did you guys do that? It seems this world not only made us look like the characters we were dressed as, but gave us their abilities as well. Haha! <laughs> Check it out! My sword is real now! Ah! My f***ing hand! This is a nightmare! Okay guys, I say we go on a quest to find Chris and that artifact. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we should probably, probably right. record. Maybe Chris was right. I like being able to harness my fiery rage. But I don't want to be a fireman forever. This would be really cool if I still had both my hands. Sorry, man. I was just having fun. I kind of like it here. Guys, I'm a physicist now. Scientifically speaking, this reality cannot sustain a stable molecular equilibrium for a lengthy temporal period. I don't know what Ben just said, but I think that means he wants out too. What about you, Emily? Hey, my character is pretty boring without her weapon. And I don't see one laying around here anywhere. So yeah, I'm bored. Let's get out of here. Hey look, it's Chris! Oops, so um, have you guys decided to stay yet? Get him! You'll never catch the bad dude! Oh, you got me. Now give me the artifact so we can all change back. Never! I like the bad dude. Come on, guys, why do you have to be so boring? Why don't we just sit here and have someone who can actually take care of it? What is this? We're cartoons now? And that, guys, concludes my last episode as host. I remember my very first outro. Huh, <laughs> there he is. So young, fresh-faced, naive. <laughs> anyway, if you guys like the show, you should like us on Facebook and Instagram, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Till then, I will not be seeing you again. This winter. It started a few months ago. Something's been following me. Kelly, you've been out of it for months. What's gotten into you? Do you ever just feel like something's following you? A new kind of film. Do you think somebody is stalking you? Yeah. What do you want? For you to upgrade your internet speed. Oh. And to kill you. No! <laughs> you won't want to see alone. Blow it up. No.
never see them coming. Coming April 31st.